here in the studio with State uh, State Senator Sue Serino. Good morning, Sue. How are you? Good morning, Mark. How are you? I'm good. So t tonight you're having a special public forum about Lyme disease and other tick-borne illnesses? Yes. Yeah, we're doing it at John Jay High School in Fishkill, mm -hmm. and it's from 6 to 7.30, and I would, should I say the address, too, probably? Oh, uh, sure. In case people yeah. don't know, it's, it's 2012 New York, New York Route 52 in Hopewell Junction. Right. So uh, there's Kimberly over there who yeah. has had Lyme disease. I had Lyme disease really badly. And it, it, I, was, I was telling Sue that it took like a year of my life, the whole recovery process. Mm -hmm. And I was really, really sick. And at first we didn't know what it was, which is bad. If you don't catch it right away, that's where the problems start. So, so now I, t I'm, tonight at the forum, you've got uh, some... Some experts on the panel, too, yes, right? Yes, we have a great panel. We have Dr. Rick Osfeld from the Kerry Institute. He's doing a bunch of research. We were able to provide $600,000 in this year's budget and last year's budget. And because we did that, there's a, a family, I think their last name is Cohen, the Cohen Foundation. Mm -hmm. They donated $5 million to the Kerry Institute. Wow. Because his wife suffered so badly with Lyme disease. And they see that we're taking you know, notice and we know all well, the problems. And uh, mm -hmm. so they did that for the research. It's just amazing. So tonight is, they're going to have a panel of experts. Like I said, Rick Osfeld. They'll also have um, Matt from uh, the Cornell Institute. I've learned a lot of things, like even just taking your clothes and putting them in a plastic bag after you've been mm -hmm. in outside. I've pulled ticks off of my clothes. Yeah. Hmm. And that you can bring them inside. They'll live. So you're yeah. supposed to throw them in the dryer. But there'll be time, you know, you'll listen to the panelists and then you'll uh, be able to ask questions as well. Because oh, a lot of great. people have a lot of questions yeah and because of doing this I did this in uh, at the FDR Wallace Center last year I had two seniors that I ran into at the senior picnics they told me that they were diagnosed with dementia and it actually was Lyme disease which they didn't yeah. know until after coming to the forum and they realized you know the symptoms they were having and they insisted on getting tested Right. Well, that's a part of the problem, why they didn't know right away what was happening to me. It looked like I'd had a stroke, oh. but it was completely from a tick bite. Yeah. Eventually, my doctor found, I, I had the ring, the bullseye, but a lot of people don't, so right. it's hard to know. Yeah. All right, and you'll be talking about other tick-borne illnesses, which can be uh, at sometimes even worse than yeah. Lyme yes. disease, right? Oh, yes. I have friends that are on the pick line. Yeah. I mean, it's devastating, so it's so important. You know, education is prevention, and I sit, mm -hmm. I always talk about that. That's why we had two bills that uh, passed in the Senate, one of them is to make age-appropriate materials for kids because oh. kids are very visual. So mm -hmm. we have these little vials that show that the ticks are actually like the size of a poppy seed. Yeah. And they're not supposed to take them off. They should go and show it to a nurse or a teacher, you know, mm -hmm. things like that. So right. it's age-appropriate materials. And also another bill that would um, have the Department of Health have a an awareness campaign on Lyme and tick-borne diseases. Great. Okay, so it's tonight at John Jay High, John Jay School, High School on Route 52 in East Fishkill, yep, starting at 6 o'clock to 7.30. Totally free to the public. Totally free, yep, mm -hmm. and they can come and ask questions. It's gonna, it's very helpful. All right. Great. That's State wonderful. Senator Sue Serino, thank you for stopping by this morning. Thanks, Mark and Kimberly. Thank you. Thank you.